All right, to end the week, I wanna talk about installing fonts. So the idea is that maybe we have a certain type of text or I'm looking for a certain font, but I don't have it on my system. So I'd either like to download it or maybe someone's gonna send it to me. And so I wanna know how to install that font so I can use it in a program like Word or InDesign or whatever programs you have on your computer. Now I'm talking about Windows 10 today. And in the spirit of the new Star Wars movie coming out, I wanna show you how you can install a Star Wars based font. So first of all, I just wanna mention a few sites. A uh, thousand and one fonts.com has a lot of free uh, fonts available and there are some really good ones. And so you can download uh, the fonts from that site. You also have fonts.com that I use. Uh, these ones will have some free and some pay fonts. Um, and again, it's a good resource to find a particular font you're, you want to use. And then for this particular example, I wanted a Star Wars font. I actually found that on a site called fontspace.com. And so essentially, I did a search and found a font, and then I hit this download link, and it downloads it. Now, obviously, I'm just going to put a disclaimer here, download at your own risk. You know, make sure that the download you're actually is downloading a font. So one thing to, of course, keep in mind. So when I downloaded the font, it came in as a zip file. Here it is on my desktop, very small, downloaded as a zip. So now I'd like to install that on my computer. Now, when I'm talking about Windows 10, I just wanna show you where you can access fonts. And then the way I'm gonna show you is a fast way to do it. Um, but if you pull up your control panel, and then under your control panel, you go into appearance and personalization, and then you have a font section. And this actually shows you all the fonts you have installed on your system. So if you ever receive a file and it gives you a warning and says you don't have the font or a document, let's say in Word, looks completely different on your machine than it does to a colleague's, well, chances are you don't have the font. And you can check that here. So these are all the fonts that I have installed. Now, one way to install a font is, of course, to copy the font file and then paste it into this area. But there is a faster way. So I'm going to go over that now. I'm going to open up the zip file that I had. And you'll notice it comes with a sample, a Word doc in this case. The ones I'm really interested are the .ttf files. There are other types of files, but this is a true type font file. So I would like to get that one and the other variants of it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy those. So I'm going to copy those out of the zip file. And that is, of course, important. Then back on my desktop, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to right click and choose paste. And so this is going to remove them from the zip file. I'll bring them back into view here. I'll put some on my desktop. So what I could do at this point is I could select these files and copy and paste them or drag them into my font area. However, if you didn't have this font screen open and you wanted a fast way to do it, here's how it's done. All you would do is right click on one of the font files, making sure they were all selected and simply choosing install. Now I've done this once already, so it asked me if I want to replace it. So I'm just going to say yes, you would not get that message. And now we're ready to use them. So if I were to go into a program, let's just say I pull up Word. Here we are. There's some text. Now in my options, I have the font that I downloaded. We can adjust the size, we can do whatever it is we want to that font that we now have readily available and installed on our system. So there you have it. That is how you can install fonts.